Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm a complete failure. I have a bad memory. I'm innately bad at learning things. That's what we often hear those days, right? A lot of people suffer from mental dementia and other factors, and they cannot find their purpose in life. And we believe that this is all due to lack of time, lack of purpose, a lack of people who could drive us forward. But that's a big, big lie. Because the real reason is that this is because of lack of concentration and focus in life, right? So stop deceiving yourself and believing that everything that happens to you is because of lack of resources and people. Can you be brutally honest with me and tell me when was the last time you genuinely enjoyed reading? When was the last time you actually concentrated on something and you were getting so much excitement from it? Can you raise your hands? When was the last time you were not distracted with the phone call or a phone message or someone calling you and focusing single-mindedly on the task? I think only a handful of you can answer that question honestly. We believe that we live in the best era for human beings. We have all facilities and technologies, but we live in the most dangerous period. You know why? Because we're living in the most dangerous period for our mental well-being. You do not even trust your brain. You do not even trust yourself to remember a couple of, couple of digits. It has to be done only through your phone, right? And in that case, the best explanation for it would be science. I want you to understand that our life is limited as are our resources. So if I explain the brain science of attention and focus, we have two hormones that are responsible for our remembering things. The first one is serotonin, and the second one is epinephrine. Serotonin is responsible for your moods because without a proper mood, you're unable to learn. While epinephrine is responsible for your alertness. And you know what's a beautiful fact? Every day, they are produced in moderation. The resource is limited. And you know what you do? You waste this resource on Instagram, scrolling YouTube, watching something, and then you sit down and read something and expect to remember. Isn't that funny? How can you waste all the resource on past experiences and expect it to somehow affect you? Every single time I get to choose between remembering and learning something or scrolling and doing something useless, I tell myself, my serotonin, where am I investing it? Am I investing it in my future prosperity? And please remember one harsh reality. The further you get from real sources of knowledge, the harder it is for you to use authentic resources of knowledge. I'm gonna repeat it again. The further you strive away from books, the further you strive away from real sources of knowledge, the harder it is for you to remember and to focus and learn things. So every single day you make a choice. But having serotonin and epinephrine is not enough. What keeps us focused is our goals, right? So unfortunately, if you do not have this proper goal, you're not gonna focus. You're not gonna concentrate. And I can guarantee that 80% of people here are here at this university with false purpose. You're not here because you wanna teach. You're here because your mom told you to enter university and to get a high qualification. You're not here to give knowledge to students. You're here by self-deception. You're lying to yourselves. You're sitting here and not even knowing who you will be after you graduate. Please face this harsh reality and find this higher purpose in life and how you can do it. You can do it by glancing back at your childhood, what you could do for hours, what you could do and get the enjoyment from it. For me personally, it could be teaching. I could teach my dolls, I could teach my friends, you know, group mates, and I genuinely know that I'm here to teach. But what is yours? Maybe you're good at singing, you could sing for hours. Maybe you're good at drawing, maybe you're good at telling things. Please identify the strong reason that could drive you forward. And the second thing is the state of flow. As Alex has mentioned here, 
In order to master anything, you need to complete concentration on it. Please name even one indubitable or successful millionaire who became successful without giving complete focus on the task. You are not going to master anything without allocating specific amount of time and focus on it. Please understand that that's very crucial. And how can you develop this focus? Step one, please do not multitask. Do not believe that you can learn five languages at a time. Focus single-mindedly on one thing and be professional at it. Master it proficiently and then only move to other things. Second, please face failures and look at them as your great friends. Our system of education focuses and emphasizes that failures are bad. But your success is measured by the multitude of failures. The more you fail, the better you are. You have to understand it. I'm very happy when I fail, when I learn new things, you know, because it's a sign of a progress. And the second thing I would like to mention is that your focus and concentration does not only affect your progress, it also affects your state of happiness. And it was proven at Stanford by two thousand participants. Half of them were asked to report what they were doing during the day. Right? And the rest was also asked the same, but the first category of people, they were doing something and they were thinking about pleasant thoughts. For example, they were washing and then thinking about their pleasant childhood memory. They were reading and they were thinking about their best friends. They were cooking and they were thinking about their best song, you know? While the half were completely there. They were focused on the task. They were doing everything well. They were completely engaged in it. And you know who reported to be happier? The ones who were focused. Yes, the people who were focused reported to be happier compared to the ones who actually were thinking about something else, although it was pleasant. And I want you to understand that your brain and your mind is like Bush Khalifa. It's a very expensive, expensive asset. Have you seen a free hotel room in Bush Khalifa? No, right? It's extremely expensive. So every part of your brain is extremely expensive and crucial. And please, always prioritize what you're letting in here, what you're thinking about, what you're choosing to think about, what you're focusing about. Is it already littered or is there a free space to enter and to learn something and acquire it? Please remember that everything is really limited. And what time is it now? What time is it? It's just now, nothing else. Thank you.